Hi, everybody. So I'm going to pick up now for the last batch of uh, all this Jupyter Notebook stuff to show you a little bit about how to plot using the Bokeh library. And once again, I'm just going to continue in the same notebook that I was working in before. So here we are, and I'm going to create a header for my section here on basic plotting using Bokeh. And um, so the way Bokeh works is you first create a, um, a figure, which is Bokeh's name for a plot. And um, it's going to be, you do that like this. You say F is a figure. And if you want, you can add a title. And I will add a title, Plotting Demo. So this creates a figure called F. If you just look at F, it says it's a figure. There's nothing there. So we have to add some things to this figure. So let's first do a scatter plot. And I will use three uh, hash marks here because this is a sub subheading. It's a subheading of the basic plotting using Bokeh section. And I'll call it scatter plot. So if we want to do a scatter plot, we need um, some things to, to plot. And so here's a little digression to show you how to generate some random points. So this command means uh, generate random, uniformly distributed. So that means just scattered at random uh, numbers between 0 and 1. And the size command says, I want a 20 by 2 matrix of them. So if I do that, I get a 20 by 2 matrix of random numbers. And here they are. And these are going to be the x and y coordinates that I want to plot. And um, you'll notice that uh, I've done this so that each, each point is a row of the matrix. That's consistent with um, the tidy data uh, formatting that we will talk about in um, when we talk about uh, machine learning. And if we want to, so in particular, the first column of this matrix is the are the um, are the x values. I'm going to use a comment here. And the second column of this matrix are the y values. And the way you uh, make a scatter plot is you take your figure, which remember was called F, and you add a scatter plot to it by saying f dot scatter, and then you give x equals and the x values and y equals and the y values. And you get this cryptic glyph renderer comment and you still can't see it. But now if you want to see what the plot that you've made, you say show f. And you get, and this is why I like to use Bokeh because it produces such a nice a picture. It's a little, 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 let me zoom out a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. And I can't quite get it to zoom out. I guess I'll do it up here. View. No. So um, the dots are the points that you're scattering. It makes nice axes for you. But you also get these tools here over in the right. And the tools, so for instance, this tool it's called the panning tool, and it means you can move the graph around. You notice by, by pushing the mouse button down and dragging, you can move it around. This button, which has a little uh, eyeglass with a mouse wheel, means that by turning the mouse wheel, you can zoom in and out. So here I've zoomed out so that we can see our points. You notice that they lie inside the unit square because all the x coordinates are between 0 and 1 and all the y coordinates are between 0 and 1. You can click the reset button to restore everything back to the way it was at the beginning. This will take you to help for the Bokeh operation. And this will let you save uh, the image, the file as an image. And if I do that, just so you can see what you get, you get a nice PNG file, which you could include in uh, something that you were writing up if you wanted a plot of it. So um, this interactivity is what you get uh, if you use Bokeh. And I, I, there are other ways to plot in Python, and some of them are maybe a little bit simpler, but uh, I really think this is uh, worth the extra effort. 
Okay, so that's how you plot a scatter plot. What about plotting a function? So let's make a new plot. So again, I'm going to call it f. You could call it any name you want. In fact, maybe I will. Let's call it function plot. And again, it's a figure, and its title is going to be plot of a function. And uh, how do we plot a function? Well, we don't actually plot a function. What we do is we plot points. But we, and to, to get the points that we want to plot, we use the trick that we talked about in the linear algebra section. We use, let, let's say we want to plot a parabola. First, we take, we, we figure, find an array of the x values that we're interested in. And we use this lin space command. And let's say we want x values between minus 3 and 3, and we want 100 of them. So those are going to be the x coordinates. And we're going to let y be x squared. This will be a very simple plot of a parabola y equals x squared. And what we do is we tell the bokeh that we want to add a line plot to our figure, our fun, let me, I'm sorry, it's function plot. That's our, our, new, uh, our new figure. We want to add a line plot to it where we want the x coordinates to be our x vector, which is the points from minus 3 to 100 points from minus 3 to 3. Uh, to three. And our y is going to be the, um, the y array. This is a little bit confusing here. The y equals and the x equals are kind of part of the function. And the x and y here are refer to the arrays that I had used up here. If I had called this one a and this one called b, this would have said x equals a, y equals b. So once again, we get this cryptic uh, message. But if we say show function plot, we get a uh, nice picture of our parabola where Bokeh has drawn a smooth line through the points that we gave it, which gives us the parabola. And again, we have the tools if we want to use them. Uh, we can even select a region and zoom in and zoom in on it. It's like having a graphing calculator, if you like. Um, but you can reset it to go back to its original uh, format. And finally, let's say you wanted to also include the points. Well, you can go back to your function plot and you can add to it. You could add a scatter plot of the points x and y that we use to draw it. And if you want to be fancy, you could even say that you wanted them to be red and you wanted them to be big. And now if we show function plot, you see that we get our um, the same plot. The blue line is still there, but we've added big red circles for each of the actual x and y that we used to draw the picture. And uh, we can zoom in if you like, or maybe here we'll select a region like that. And then we can zoom in on one of these red dots if you want to see it. And you can see that uh, if we uh, scroll down a bit, we can move down to here. And we can see that this is at about 2.69, uh, little between 2.69 and 2.7. And it's a little bit less than 7.28. And all of that is handled automatically for you. So that's a very quick introduction to Bokeh. It's one limitation is it doesn't easily draw things in three dimensions. But most of the work that we're going to be doing is, uh, is in two dimensions. And so Bokeh gives us really nice plots for doing that. Okay.